Hi there and welcome to another video for CoolSmartphone.com Today I'm going to be having a look at the Remix Mini and I have got a setup just on my monitor and with my wireless keyboard here so what we'll do is we'll just dive straight into it now and have a wee look Okay. So here we are in a typical working envi work environment you can see here that I have a YouTube video, I've got the um, WordPress app open and then the, behind the scenes I've also got um, the Chrome browser. Now if I wanted to do some work on the Remix article for example, I just tap in there and start typing away with no problem at all apart from the fact that I can't type. Now say for example I was writing an article and I needed to get some information from a YouTube video. So because of Remix Mini OS and the way that it works I can actually have multitasking happening. So I can see there that I've got the Remix Mini demo video and also my Remix Mini article sitting side by side. This is a really useful uh, feature. And you can see here that we're not seeing any dropping of frame rates. This is um, running over a Wi-Fi network and it's running with reasonable speeds without any major problem. Okay, so we'll just pause that for now. and I'm also going to show you how you can actually task switch. So using the same alt tab functionality that you would use on any computer you can bring up your task manager and you can see there that's just now me switched into a Google Docs document so we'll make that full screen. And this is what it looks like on full screen. Very very usable and if we alt tab again we'll go back into our YouTube video back into Docs. Let's open up Chrome browser. So you can see here I've got a full Chrome browser as you would expect with uh, any sort of Chrome browser on any other computer system. Um, as this isn't running Chrome OS or a desktop OS it does not have the ability for adding extensions which is one downside but um, everything works as it should do so two finger scrolling on the trackpad to scroll through the screen um, all that sort of stuff um, and I can open up if I go into YouTube in here it will allow me to open up a YouTube stream in here without any major issue again it is going to default to the mobile site um, now this is one thing that if you are using Remix Mini as a desktop replacement is something that you will have to become accustomed to and uh, learn to live with. Um, if we now open the cool smartphone videos. Now I am starting to see the occasional little bit of lag here. Now I've not decided um, what the cause of this is yet but it could very well be that uh, my Wi-Fi is causing this um, or we do have quite a few tabs open at the moment so it could be that so if we just go in and we'll play back this video and we're going to jump into full screen here now bear in mind we are running a all winner CPU here the same sort of CPU that was in the Nexus 7 2013 so it is a older CPU so um, that could have something to do with why we're experiencing a little bit of lag here we'll just load this video up to see how it plays as you can see very little lag there so there's no actual lag or any issues let's um, minimize that and you can see here that it easily minimizes 
So we'll pause that and we'll go back into the Word article that I was uh, doing. Now, um, as you would expect for any Google Drive document, you've got all the capability of editing that you get in any mobile OS. Okay, so if I were to delete that and then I can reinsert it um, using the standard keyboard combinations um, without any issue. So this is uh, just a quick rundown of the software um, utility of the Remix OS. Let's just open up the settings and you can see in here that you do have a slightly different settings menu than you would expect normally. If we go to about box and unfortunately it's not going to give me a actual memory uh, monitoring tool. The other thing I have found myself using this for quite a lot is Kodi. Now I'm going to try and open Kodi but bear in mind I've got all these other apps open as well. Now what Kodi is, if for those of you unfamiliar with it, is Kodi is the XBMC media streaming service. Okay, so it's opened up straight into uh, my movies uh, playlists, sorry, my movies folder, um, and it's finding my network, and we'll just go in here, find a video. And this is now going to open up a stream from my home media server. And again, I can alt tab out that and I can go back to work if I need to. So you can see that we do have a really, really powerful OS here. Um, apart from the occasional little slowdown, which is purely due to um, my Wi-Fi connection from what I've been able to establish there's no real major problems on this. Now I am out key, outputting this at a 1080p resolution right now. It can be output at a 2K resolution if you have a 2K monitor. Um, I believe it will actually go all the way up to 4K. So for the low, low cost of $60 or £45 in the UK, you too could get a Remix Mini and you could have this as a light use productivity machine but also as a very very capable and competent media streaming device. Thank you very much for watching this video from cool, CoolSmartphone.com If you are wanting uh, some more information about the Remix Mini please do check up the full review and also please subscribe for other videos like this including our end of year roundup, which is uh, coming very, very soon. And um, any questions or comments, please pop them in the comments section. And also while you're down there, uh, if you can give us a like or a dislike if you didn't like the video or if you liked it. Thanks very much and have a good Christmas. Bye.